Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald, and I'm here to read a fall story to you. It's called Autumn Is Here, Tractor Mac. Autumn is here. I just found this at the library and I thought it looked so good. I mean, look at that beautiful picture. There's a cow and apples, pumpkins and squash and birds. It's so beautiful in that cute little tractor. So I said, I have to read that one to my friends. <laughs> I love the autumn. It's hard for me to pick what season I like the best, but it might be autumn. I'm not sure, but look here. I, I'm almost finished with this. I'm, I'm making this for my husband. We'll put a light in here and it'll light up just like a jack-o'-lantern. So this is like a ceramic jack-o'-lantern. Oh, look who's coming. Do you see my cat? Senna, what are you doing? <laughs> she came to join me. She must know that I'm going to read a book because she likes stories. And back here, I just finished this. And it reminds me of the colors of the leaves. This chicken. <laughs> Anyhow, let's see if this book is as good as it looks. Here we go. Tractor Mac, Autumn is Here by Billy Steers. Hmm. Evenings were getting cooler at Stony Meadow Farm. The colors on the farm changed almost overnight from greens and blues to a riot of gold, scarlets, and rusts. This is my favorite time of year, said Tractor Mac. Sibley agreed. I love the new smells of earth and hay. <laughs> I do, I love those smells too. And look over here. There is a goose and all the little goslings and a bird, a beautiful pumpkin. Oh, what's this? I think that might be a bunny. And then over here, the farm dog and a goat. Moo, <laughs> sheep. I love it. Let's see. I brought a fresh load of pumpkins to the farm stand this morning. Fall into autumn, <laughs> said Sibley with a chuckle. Get it? Fall into autumn. I can't wait to try out my new mounted corn picker this year. It will be a nice change from my old toe-behind harvester, said Tractor Mac. Oh, look, they have all their jack-o'-lanterns. Not everybody was happy with the changes that fall brings. Hmm. Oh, I'm very worried about my little calf, Fergus, mooed Fergie the cow to Tractor Mac. He was just born last spring, so this is his first autumn. Things change so fast here this time of year, and Fergus does not like change, added Margot. <laughs> oh my, Margot has a problem. That baby bovine is doomed, I tell you. A calf that doesn't like autumn? I never, declared Goat Walter sagely. Oh, foo, Walter. Fergie is worried enough without you, said Margot. Change is good, clucked Carla the chicken. Chicks hatch from eggs. Tadpoles become frogs. Caterpillars will be butterflies. That is a lot of change, isn't it? It's a lot. But Fergus did not understand why things had to change. He had a routine that he followed every day. First, Fergus frolicked in the tall grass with his friend Noah, making tunnels and paths. Next, he and Noah played a rousing game of hide and seek among the corn rows. Then, Fergus would nap in the shade of a big green oak tree before supper. Sounds like a nice day, doesn't it? But one day, when Fergus arrived at the field where he and Noah played, the grasses and wildflowers were gone. Too barren, said Fergus. Oh, well, there's always the cornfield to play in, said Noah. Oh, look what happened. The farmer cut the wheat and made straw. Oh, my. But the cornfield was also gone. Nothing but stubs and stalks remained. Too stubby, cried Fergus. We could play a different game, said Noah. But when he turned around, Fergus was gone. Fergus almost ran into Tractor Mac wearing his corn picker. He was so upset. Too scary, bawled Fergus. Oh no, look how scary he is. Look at that face. Ah! <laughs> Fergus ran to his favorite big oak tree, but its leaves were now amber and brown. He slipped on a pile of acorns that were where he would normally lay in the shade. Too much, wailed Fergus. 
He needed to find some place that always remained the same. Change your pace, young calf. You almost bowled me over, shouted Goat Walter. Noah could not find his friend anywhere. He asked Fergie and his Aunt Margot. He asked Sibley the horse. He asked Sam the ram. That crazy mini bull ran that way, said Walter, who had been the last one to see Fergus. I have a hunch about where he might be, said Tractor, Mike, Ma Tractor Mac. <laughs> Fergus would want to find a place that doesn't change much. Hmm, I wonder what place doesn't change much. It's probably inside, because inside's more likely to stay the same than outside. Although my house changes on the inside all the time. My, my husband changes the decorations every season. <gasps> oh, this, I have to show you this. Look at this. The root cellar was a calm, snug place. The temperature always stayed the same. The lighting and smells remained constant. It was dry, cool, and quiet. And Fergus hoped it would never change. Come out so we can talk, Fergus, said Tractor Mac gently. We need to show you some things, said Sibley. It's okay to come outside, Fergus, urged Noah. Tentatively, Fergus poked his head out of the root cellar. Tractor Mac took Fergus over to the silo. I use the corn picker to bring in the corn. The stalks get put into the silo and the ears of corn go into the cribs to feed the, all the animals through the year, explained Tractor Mac. I like the corn stalks better when they stood in rows, moaned Fergus. The fields are cut for hay to feed us and for straw for our bedding, said Sibley. The fields get to rest through the winter. Then they'll grow new crops in the spring, added Sam the ram. Yes, in the winter, everything rests. I could use a nap. <laughs> Maybe I need one winter day to nap, huh? I think the hay was better when it grew as grass and flowers in the field, complained Fergus. I know you're unhappy about the leaves falling off the trees, but the trees aren't dead. They're just getting ready to sleep through the winter, said Sharon the sheep. The leaves help the soil and the falling nuts and seeds will feed the animals. Some will grow into trees, said Tractor Mac. Fergus thought about the leaves spiraling off the trees and the acorns on the ground as his friends walked him home. Fergie and Margot were very happy to see him. As the weeks went on, Fergus watched the changes around him. I was sad when the blossoms fell off the trees in the spring, but look at all the apples in their new place, their place now, Fergus said to Noah. Jumping in leaf piles is a fun game, cheered Noah. Mine is a leaf fort, said Fergus. Who knew you could build an igloo out of hay bales, said Noah, and make a hay bale wall to protect it, Fergus chimed in. <gasps> There's different fun we can have every season. Sometimes Fergus still felt sad about autumn, like when his bird friends migrated away. But new friends arrived from the north to overwinter at the farm. I'm glad they will, oh, I'm glad they fill the feeders here, said a little gray and white bird. Oh, do you ever fill the bird feeders so that the birds have something to eat in the winter? Oh, as fall progressed, children came to visit Fergus and the other animals at Stony Meadow Farm on weekends and school breaks. Then Fergus got to see a lot of his friends at the pumpkin picking festival. Was that my cat? Is this her tail? Sinna, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Sinna's so funny. Look at this. This looks like the fair to me, but this is the big farm where you can go visit. We have a few farms near us that we can visit and I'm going to put a picture or two at the end so that you can see them. Fergus watched the signs of change, the changing season and marveled at the changing colors. Thank you, Tractor Mac, for showing me that change can be good, said Fergus. 
I like the change in you, Fergus, said Tractor Mac. Happy autumn. <laughs> so change can be good. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will add a few pictures at the end so you can see a few things that I've done this fall. Just started, though. My leaves, I have a few leaves that have changed, but not a lot. Maybe by my next story, the leaves will be bright and red and yellow. Yes, I can see a little hint of them. They're starting to change. I hope you have a great autumn. I'll see you later. Bye.